To check your worksheet for spelling errors, come up here and click on the Review tab, go to the Proofing group, and there's Spelling, or Spell Check, as I call it. You can see in the pop-up, you can hit the F7 key on the keyboard as a shortcut, click on it to open up the spelling window, and the first thing that it didn't find within its dictionary that it considers misspelled is Dreamforce, altogether one word, and so its solution is, or suggestion, to go ahead and break it up. If you want to go ahead and do that, then select Change. I don't want to do that. Or you can change all, meaning that if you had Dreamforce in more than one cell throughout the worksheet, then you can change it for all. Or I can come up here and just ignore it once here, and then in which case if it found Dreamforce again, all one word, then I have the option to ignore it again or ignore all of them throughout the entire worksheet. Now this only checks for the current worksheet, not the entire workbook. So you have to do it sheet by sheet. You also get the other option where you can add it to the dictionary where it will no longer consider it misspelled. So click on Add, and then it goes to the next one, which is, okay, it found February. Let me click and drag the title bar so I can move the window out of the way, and ha, there it is. February, should be February. So with it highlighted as one of the suggestions, I could have Briary, but that doesn't make sense. Go ahead and select February, come over here and say that you want to change it, click on it. Hey, you're good to go. Oh, isn't that nice? Click OK, and then if you're like, eh, you know what, I changed my mind. I don't want to add Dreamforce as one word as being spelled correctly. I want it to appear as not in the dictionary or being misspelled where it has to be two separate words. To go ahead and change what you just added to the dictionary, in other words, to remove it, delete it, come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage, and let's roll down to Options. Come up here and select Proofing, the category, and then come down and click on Custom Dictionaries. And, well, you have the default dictionary that includes spelling of, well, the more popular words, except for those, like Dreamforce, whether it's all one word or, in this case, once it's two separate words, you can go ahead and when you add it to the dictionary, add it to its custom dictionary, not the default dictionary. You won't be able to override that. In fact, if you select it and you try to edit it, forget it. Can't do it. But, so it's got its own custom dictionary for you to go ahead and add words to and from. So with the selected, come up here and click on Edit. And, oh, you see, it doesn't like my name either. I had to add my name. It considered K-I-R-T as being misspelled as well as my last name. So there's Dreamforce. When I go ahead and select it and I delete it, and if you want to add words here, you can go ahead and type it in and click on Add, but I'm not going to do that. I deleted it. When I delete it, I click OK, click OK, click OK, and I go ahead and do the spell check again. And then notice what cell that I have selected. It's D5, so it's going to begin the spell check if I leave it there from that point to the right and all the way down. So I'll we'll have to go through the entire cycle to come back up here to find that as being misspelled because we removed it or deleted it from the dictionary. Well, we can go ahead and click on check for spelling. It says, look, we went to the end. We couldn't find anything down there. How about we finish by going back up to the top these last four rows? Well, five, because it includes columns A, B, and C for that row before it hits where we just started for the spell check and say yes. And it found it, Dreamforce, because we removed it from the dictionary. And we can go ahead and ignore it or add it back to the dictionary. I'll just go ahead and, well, click cancel. That's like ignoring it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.